Our Harvard Radiation Oncology Residency Program is a caring, collaborative community of faculty, residents, and staff at two outstanding cancer centers, the Massachusetts General Cancer Center, together with the Dana-Farber Brigham Cancer Center. We're grounded in our core values, which are compassion, uh, integrity, teamwork, uh, and clinical excellence. And we bring our diversity of uh, interests, our passions, to equip our residents to become the next generation of radiation oncologists. Well, for me, the Harvard Radiation Oncology Program is extraordinarily special. It's one of the largest radiation oncology training programs in the country, which means we have a critical mass of residents, you know, enough for interactions and connections. It's very dynamic. We have the extraordinary faculty from the MGH, from the Brigham, from Dana-Farber, and we have far more faculty than we have residents. It's a great opportunity for training. I think some really distinguishing or special things about this program is how we draw on the combined expertise of two very different uh, departments. We have the benefit of training with really well-renowned physicians and clinicians uh, at two major cancer centers here at Dana-Farber uh, Brigham, uh, as well as on the other side of town at Mass General, where we get to really appreciate the nuances of patient care. The residents play an integral role in clinical care. Um, the residents are oftentimes, you know, the first point of contact in meeting patients in consultation. They follow patients throughout the course of their clinical care and oftentimes are identified as a primary caretaker and that um, bond is critical for both professional development but also gives you a sense of what it feels like to be truly independent practicing clinician on the back end. There are enormous research opportunities here, so throughout both um, Dana-Farber Brigham and Women's, Mass General, um, and throughout the Harvard network, there are you know, many, many different disciplines and types of, of labs and researchers who you can work with. I have found that when I've approached faculty about doing research, they're you know universally enthusiastic, um, and even if something kind of isn't their area of expertise, they're usually very open and, and wanting to hear about my idea and wanting to think about who we could work with or collaborate to make that happen. One of the nice things about being a part of two different hospital systems is that we have access to all the best of the technology of both. You know, we've got the protons at Mass General, we've got the MRI LINAC here at Dana-Farber Brigham, we've got all kinds of brachytherapy, LDR, HDR, uh, we've got the intraoperative radiation planning. There's opportunities to learn how to use new technology, so using the MRI machine, doing um, brachytherapy, those kinds of things I felt that would be really special and, and actually help me be able to find a job after finishing residency. The dynamic between the residents and the faculty is actually something that I didn't expect when I came here, but that I've actually really come to cherish. It is in one part challenging because you're definitely working with people who do have high expectations and that know a lot and you want to learn as much as you can, but there's also a personal dynamic to it. So it's, it's, it's one that you feel encouraged and one that helps you thrive in, but the direction of that relationship certainly moves in a, in a direction that helps you professionally develop into the type of clinician that you want to be. The culture has been built around collegiality. It's been built around um, empathy for, for one another. It's been built around uh, a desire to see each other succeed. And that, uh, that has been great. It's, uh, I've seen that among residents and I've seen it among faculty as well. The opportunity to interact with and kind of teach both medical students as well as less experienced residents. Um, you know, as chief resident, really, it's been tremendously rewarding over the course of this year to work with the new first year residents and kind of help them along their way as they've started their careers. And the first year of residency is always hard for everyone. And so being able to be there and kind of help mentor them and support them for that has been a, a tremendous experience. When I first started as a first year resident, um, the upperclassmen residents tried to get, uh, put together a lot of social events for us so that we can be integrated um, within the residency program. Throughout the rotation, we get close to one another, especially the same year class. And so between us, we also try to meet up and invite each other over to their own places for dinner, um, social gatherings, things like that. 
It's our hope that residents leave our program not only feeling enriched from uh, a clinical expertise and research interest perspective, but that they leave with a really deep understanding for um, what the Harvard Radiation Oncology Program and the respective hospitals bring to patients um, and really what is the best of clinical care so that wherever they go, wherever they practice, they carry that with them and that their expectations for their patients remain high. I've learned that there are a lot of ways to be happy in life and there are a lot of ways to be successful. I would love each and every resident to find what makes them tick, what makes them happy, what defines their success for them, and whether their interest is in being the best clinician ever, a fantastic clinical researcher, an expert in global medicine, in uh, health equity, in wet lab research, in clinical trial design, whatever their definition of success, it's our job to support that and ensure that they are indeed successful.